Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter four, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm actually gonna show you um, two different ways to do this problem. They are showing you to do it this way, okay? Now this way, yes, it will work, but it's going to be more time consuming for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do it the way that they showed you. And I also know that they make their boxes different sizes. I don't because it's hard for me to write in there when I do, so I don't. Um, but we're going to go ahead and um, put in our answers from each one of these, okay? So 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 0 is 0, okay? Now, I need to go in one place and put my decimal there, okay? Because I went in one place here for the decimal, okay? 2 times 4 is 8. Again, I went in one place for the decimal. I need to go in one place for the decimal. Okay, so now 4 times 8 is 32, and then 4 times 0 is 0. And I went in 1, 2 places, so 1, 2 places. Okay, now I need to do 4 times 4 is 16. I went in 1, 2 places. I need to go in 1, 2 places. Okay, so now I need to go ahead, and I, when you're adding and subtracting decimals, you need to make sure that you are lining up your decimals, okay? The decimal needs to drop straight down, okay? I put an extra zero here because this one and this one have two places after the decimal and I need those, okay? So I did that one. I'm going to do 3.20 net. I'm going to put 0.16 and I'm going to put 0.8. Now again, I'm gonna put a zero there. I'm gonna put a zero there there, 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 and there, because I want to fill in all of my spaces and make sure that my decimal comes straight down. Okay, so now, decimal down, that's the very first thing I do. Okay, now, zeros and a six, so it's going to be six. Two plus one is three, plus eight is going to be 11, carry a one. Okay, one plus six is seven, plus three is 10, zero down, carry a one. One plus one, is two. So your answer is going to be 20.16. Okay. Now I've shown you that way. Now let me do it this way. Four times four is 16. Carry one. Four times eight, 32 plus one, 33. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to tick tack toe. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is 16. I'm going to add those up and I'm going to get six, 11, carry a one. 10, carry one, two. Got the same answer, okay? But this one took me a lot less time. So totally your choice. You can do it whichever way makes you feel more comfortable. I prefer this way, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that again for number three, okay? So just to be clear, your number two answer is going to be 20.16, okay? You can fill that in with, with your block. You can fill it in the way that I like to do it or however you'd like to do it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the 0.53 on top because then I get to multiply by one the second time and that makes it a lot easier on me, okay? So three times three is nine, three times five is 15, okay? I don't have any ticks, but that's okay. I can do that, tack and toe. And then one times 53 is going to be 53. And I goofed and didn't leave enough space. So nine plus zero is going to be nine. Five plus three is going to be eight. And one plus five is going to be six. Now I just need to go in one, two places and put my decimal in. Okay, one in two places because there's a decimal place, two places in here. Okay, the next one, I will make sure to leave some more room. So I'm going to put eight, nine point five times 27, okay? So now, seven times five is 35, carry my three. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Maybe a little bit more, there we go. Okay, seven times nine is 63, plus three more is 66. I'm gonna carry the six, put down the six. Seven times eight is 56, plus six more is gonna be 62. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to tick, Tack and toe. Two times five is 10. 
carry a one. Two times nine is 18, plus one more is 19. Carry a one. And two times eight is 16, plus one is 17. Maybe it would be better to do this on scrap paper, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna add straight down. Five, six, 11, carry one, 14, and two. And then I need to go in just one place. That's where my decimal is there. So two, four, one, six, point five. Okay, so I'm gonna do one on scrap paper so that it's a little bit clearer for you guys to see. So. times 32, okay? So two times one is two, two times seven is 14, four down, carry our one. Two times two is four, plus one more is five, and two times one is two. Now I get to go through and tick, pack, tow. Now I'm ticking off what I carried before because I don't want to confuse that with what I've already done. I'm tacking off the number I've already multiplied by because I don't need it anymore and I don't want to use it again by mistake. That's where a lot of people get confused. And then I put tow so that I remember to put my placeholder zero in. So we say tick, tack, tow, and that reminds us of the three steps that we need to do before we move on. So now three times one is three. Three times seven is 21. One down, carry the two. That's why it's important to tick that off so that you don't confuse it with the one that you're carrying currently. Three times two is six plus two more is eight, and three times one is three. So now we're just gonna add those up, okay? Two, seven, six, 10, carry a one, and four. So now I just need to go back, see where my decimal is, how many places in I have to go, and do the same thing in the answer. So one, two places, one, two, 406.72. Okay? You guys pause, take the time to write that down, make sure you show your work, it's important, okay? And that was number five, okay? So number six, seven, and eight, you guys are gonna do those yourselves, okay? We are gonna go on to number nine. And it says an object that weighs one pound on the moon will weigh about 6.02 pounds on Earth. Suppose a moon rock weighs 11 pounds on the moon, how much will it weigh on Earth? So we just need to take those two numbers and multiply them, okay? So 6.02 times 11, okay? So one times 6.02 or 602, it's gonna be 602. I don't have any ticks, I'm gonna tack and I'm gonna tell, okay? And then again, one times 602, 602. Add them up, okay? Oops, you guys can't even see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add those up. So two, two, six, six, and then I have to go in one, two places. One, two, 66.22 pounds. So right here, 66.02 pounds. Okay, pause it, show your work, it's important. Okay, all right, so you're going to go on, and since I'm doing this on scrap paper, I'm going to zoom us back out some. Okay, Tess is on the track team. For practice and exercise, she runs 2.25 miles per day. At the end of 14 days, how many total miles will she have run? So 2.25, and we're going to multiply that by 14. Okay, four times five is 20, zero down, two up. Four times two is eight, plus two more is 10. Carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. Now, we're gonna go through and tick, tack, tow, and then one times two, two, five is, I'm gonna write it backwards so that I keep my placing, is two, two, five, okay? So now I just need to add them up, zero, five, 11, carry the one, and three. Now, I went in one, two places here. One, two, 31.5 miles. You can write that extra zero if you want to. You just don't have to at the end of a decimal, okay? So, 
on the back for lesson check. You guys are going to do that yourself. You totally can. I believe in you. Get her done. Okay. We are going to go down to number three. And it says, what is the value of the digit four in this number? Well, here's the great thing. All you have to do when it wants to know the value of a specific digit is to drop that digit down. And then everything afterwards becomes a zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Four million. Done. Okay. Okay. So this one is trying to be tricky for you. And it wants to know how many zeros will be in the product. Well, here's the thing. Six times five is 30. Then you're going to add three more zeros because the exponent is three. One, two, three. So how many zeros are in there is four zeros. Okay. All right. Roast beef costs $8.49 per pound. What is the cost of two pounds? So we need to take that $8.49 and we need to multiply it by two. Two times nine is 18. Carry the one. Two times four is eight plus one is nine. Two times eight is 16. We went in one, two places, one, two places, $16.98, guys. Okay, make sure you're showing your work. And that dollar sign is your label. Okay, that is your word answer. Northridge Middle School collected 5,022 cans of food for a food drive. Each of the 18 homerooms collected about the same number of cans. About how many cans did each homeroom collect? So we're going to come over here and we're going to do 5,022 and we're going to divide that by the 18 homerooms. Okay? So over in the corner here, I'm going to write down multiples of 18 because I really don't know those off the top of my head and no shame in my game. I'm going to use my calculator for my multiples of 36. Okay, so 36, oh sorry, of 18. 18 times 3 is 54. 18 times 4 is 72. And 18 times 5 is 90, and hopefully I won't have to go past that, okay? So, 18 is not going to go into 5, placeholder. 18 will go into 50. Looks like the closest I'm going to get is 36, so that's 2 times, which was 36. I subtract. I'm going to get 14 when I subtract, okay? 14 is smaller than 18, so I can bring down my 2. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to do a couple more 18. So, I'm going to go 18 times 6 is 108. 18 times 7 is 126. And 18 times 8 is 144. Now, hopefully I won't have to go past that one. But it looks like 144 is too big. So I'm going to go back down to 126, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. 7 times 18 was 126. When I subtract, 2 cannot take away 6. So I need to make that a 3. Make that a 12. 12 take away 6 is 6, and 3 take away 2 is 1. That is 16. 16 is smaller than 18. So it looks like I might have to do one more because it means I can bring down my 2, but I don't have one that goes up to this. So we're going to do... 18 times 9, 162. So 18 times 9 was 162. Get zero. So 279 cans each. Okay. So 279 cans. Okay, guys, show your work. Pause it. Show your work. It's important. Okay. Thank you for hanging out. For 4.4, come on back for 4.5. See you soon.